Wakata Yahawa, Wakata Yahawa Sha, Wakata Yahawa, Wakata Yahawa Sha, Wakata Yahawa, Wakata Yahawa Sha, Baashem, Waka, Kwadash, Ishaaki and Madrilla Zil, back with another quick lesson. And I want to do a lesson on the subject, man, of being effeminate, man, you know. And um, I'm going to start with this guy right here. You know, he's a prominent figure in you know, Hollywood, you know. This guy named Wayne Brady. And we're just going to hear this the article from People's Magazine. And it reads, uh, matter of fact, this came out March 17th, you know, a couple of days ago, 2024, 10 a.m. It says, Wayne Brady details the biggest misconception of being pansexual. Let me set you straight. How ironic. <laughs> Let me set you straight, huh? But you could tell this guy right here, man. Now he's claiming to be uh, pansexual, man. You know, for those that don't know, you can look it up. But pretty much, I'm going to give you an idea based on this article. It says, while attending the 2024 GLAAD Media Award on Thursday night in Los Angeles, the Who's Line Is It Anyway star 51 told people he understands why some people are confused <laughs> by the term and that he even needed to research the topic himself. Quote, I had to do research and find out what it was that I was, says Brady. See, that's what Esau Edo, man, <laughs> he's causing confusion, man. So this dude had to actually research to find out what he was, man, meaning this pansexual self-identity, you know what I'm saying, meaning what he says, confused, he said, what? Why some people are confused, man, there's a lot of people nowadays, man, they're confused because you're in the lane of confusion, man, you know. So this, he said this guy had to research to find out what it was that he was, man. So these people don't even know, they're just going with whatever, you know, these terminology this devil come up with and manipulate and they just going with it, man, because they're trying to be accepted in this devil society. That's how a lot of these people is, man. That's why they choose this uh, out of the ordinary, odd, weird lifestyle to what? To appease the self proclaimed white man, man. Read that again. Quote, I had to, I had to do research and find out what I would, so like it, find out what it was that I was, says Brady, who came out as pansexual in August 2023. I think the biggest misconception, and I even make a joke, it's like it, and I even make a joke about it on stage tonight, is that people think that you're an indecisive bise bisexual. It's like, no, 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 no. Let me set you straight. Huh. Then it says, what the definition basically boils down to is, regardless of gender, regardless, he continues, quote, so that means that I am happily free to fall in love with anybody here. If you're a, if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're non-binary, trans, I don't care. Brady explains that it's all about the person, which is like it, which in my mind is the ultimate. It's like it, which in my mind is the ultimate in acceptance and loving. So I win. End quote. So that's what this guy, man, that's confusing. So he, 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 this guy will pretty much, you know, fall in love with, with someone that is so-called gay, bisexual, pansexual, straight, trans, or whatever. He don't care, man. So that's, that's called, that's, that's uh, abomination and that's confusion, man. You know what I'm saying? He just falling in love with anybody, man. Because he just trying to be accepted in this, in this society by, um, but he saw even the supper playing white man, man. And look at the way he dressed, man. He's dressing effeminate, man. This guy got pointy shoes, you know. 
as bright as the sun, you know, a little see-through tank top or whatever he got, cleavage on, you know, come on, man, that's, a, that's a, his whole action, his way is a feminine, man, let's go into <clears throat> a precept, man, I ain't gonna make this long, man. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And the point is in 9. And it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor Salakia. Repeat, repeat that again. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and 9 says, Know ye that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves, with mankind, man. And that, that dude fit both category, man. A feminine and abuser, abusing of himself with mankind, man. You know what I'm saying? Laying down with, with strange flesh, man. Tell me he don't care if you straight, bisexual, trans, transsexual, whatever. He, he still openly, freely can fall in love with. This is what the word effeminate means. Strong's G, 3120, Malakas, Malakas. And it says soft, soft to the touch, in a bad sense, effeminate. Let's go down to second, it says, of a boy kept for homosexual relationships with a man. That's effeminate, man, and that's what he is, man. He said, of a boy kept for homosexual relationships with a man. Of a male who submits his body to unnatural lewdness, man. That's what that's what uh being effeminate is, man. Of a boy kept for homosexual relationships with a man. So it says what? First Corinthians six and nine, we read it again. Know ye not that the unrighteous, so what this guy's doing is unrighteous, man. You know what I'm saying? Shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Be not deceived. These people deceiving you, saying that you know God loves everybody. God would accept everybody, man. Now that's a lie, man. You you are being deceived by that, man. You know. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. And that's what that guy was, or is, like you nor abusers of themselves or mankind. Let's read the New Living Translation. It says, do not you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin or with worship, so like a, or who worship idols or commit adultery, or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality. Look, or practice homosexuality, man. And that's what it is. And that's what this guy is, is pretty much. <clears throat> so like, now let me go back to it. But I attempted to, I'm not going to try to, you know, go back. But I tried to, but it's not letting me. Because... This is my fourth time recording, trying to do this lesson, man, and pretty much is still recording, man. You know, but nonetheless, man, that it was on that that this guy because they use that's what Esau Edom is doing, man. He's using these celebrities, man, for his uh, agenda, man. You know what I'm saying? So all these, uh, you know, what I mean, these so-called prominent figures among the so-called black community. That these people look up to because you know Esau even gave them the spotlight and threw and threw some Federal Reserve Federal Reserve notes at them. Now these uh uh, uh you, you want to say common folk to say the least. 
you know, look up to these people now, this uh, alternative weird lifestyle is being widely accepted, man. You know, the Alphabet Crew, you know, these people are getting weirder and weirder, man. And we saw Beck said, and I agree, just like our teacher, man, we can't wait till Yahweh, Yahweh, while Yahweh Shah comes and do what is um, rightfully need to be done in this place, man. You know, be done away with, man. Because this place is getting um, weirder, weirder, you know, uh, just just unbearable, man. You know what I'm saying? And what it is, they try to force that lifestyle upon on you. And I can feel it. You can feel it in the air, man. They try to have you, their, their perverseness, and they want you, and they want you to uh, uh, participate in it, man. It's one thing they perverse, but it's another when they try to uh, pretty much under deception, deceitfulness, try to damn so like it, you know, but trying to force that lifestyle on you, man. And like I said, man, or like I was saying, man, I'm so vexed that we can't wait till the Lord come and destroy this place, man. I'm going to end the lesson off there, man. Lord willing, the body was edified. Till next time, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem, Raka Kwadash. Again, this is Aki and Madril Azil. Lord willing, I'll be back in another lesson. Till next time, Shalom, Barakatha, Ball, Ball.